Well, I'm in downtown Hutto. This is my hometown. And this camera is actually sitting on top of a hippo. Why don't I show that to you right now real quick? So you might be wondering, how does a guy with 500 subscribers tell someone else how to gain their channel when they're so very new? But I'll explain to you, these two things I have learned from just studying. I've been looking at how to create a channel and I think I have the formula on how to do it and it's not necessarily my formula. I'm gonna be using two sources here, Peter McKinnon and Gary Vanderchuk. There are two things that pointed out to me in a couple of videos that made me realize that there are some channels that might have really, really good content. They might have the greatest videos and they could produce videos every single day, but they may not have a lot of subscribers. The reason for that is basically if you're not getting in front of an audience, you won't get the subscribers. So it has to do with two things. One, you have to have a topic. The topic has to resonate with what people are looking for, maybe what they're searching for. So a good topic is going to help out. The second thing is distribution. The only way to sell things is you've got to get it out there. That's what I want to talk to you guys about today. So one thing that Peter McKinnon says, and now what I'm going to do is I'll show you a 20 second clip of Peter McKinnon and also Gary Vaynerchuk at the end of this video. And I'll link the entire videos in the description if you want to watch it fully. But for the most part, what Peter's saying is he had a video. He thought it would go viral, but he just didn't sit and let it go viral by itself. He had to put a lot of work into it. So he went and found as many websites, as many blog posts and groups and try to get the word out there. He, I don't know if he put a press release out there, but he talked to media, he put emails. I think he worked a very long time to push his content as much as he could to make people, to make sure that people saw it. And it didn't happen right away. You know, eventually after a few hours or so, one post picked it up and then it got picked up by another and eventually it started turning into a huge snowball. But it didn't happen by itself. He had to put some work into it. And so Peter McKinnon had about 200 websites that he was just going after and he went after it. This brings me to Gary Vaynerchuk. He talks about to become successful, you've got to get your word out there. He talks about the distribution and he said that when he did his wine library, he spent five hours working on distribution and only one hour on the video. Now, there is a lot of us that spend probably four or five hours on the video and barely do anything on distribution. So that's why you will have really good quality, but not a bunch of quantity because you don't have the viewers and subscribers. And it's because I think a lot of times creators can get exhausted. And once you're done, and sometimes I don't finish my vlog until one or two in the morning, and then to go out there and to do it takes a lot of time and energy, and that's the difference. Okay, now again, I haven't done it, but it's almost like learning how to run a marathon. You can see the formula, but very few amount of people will actually do the work to make it happen. So that's what will make a YouTube creator successful is distribution and getting the word out there. Now, I did have one video that went, I guess viral, you could say, and this, these principles that I'm talking to you about worked. Right now, there's a huge video game called Fortnite. It's very popular. People are searching for it all the time. And so what I try to do with the ch channel is I found different things that I like to do and I thought, how do I bring an audience from somewhere else here? My son really liked the game, so this summer we played it and we found a spot where we could find a lot of llamas. That may not make sense to a lot of you. <laughs> but in YouTube, a lot of people were searching for it. So I thought this might be a really good video. We put it together. I let Christian voice it because I thought having a 12 year old voice would sound better than having me do it. And this video, I promoted it so hard. What I did is um, obviously we use the tags. We use good hashtags. Um, I put it on Instagram, on Twitter. I have a Snapchat. I was putting on different areas, but I spent hours on Twitter. I would look up Fortnite and llamas and anyone that was having a hard time trying to find these llamas, I would put like a comment in the section of like, hey, I made a video. I think I have a pretty good idea where you can find some. Check it out if you have time and good luck. And I did that probably at least a hundred times. I sent out a lot of different messages like that 
not saying, hey, go check out my video. It was more of like, hey, here's something. I hope it helps you. It was just kind of that helping him out. And the video kept getting a lot of comments and it kept working. As of today, it has over 26,000 views. Now my vlogs don't have that many views at all, but it's because I don't have something specific that people are searching for and I'm not promoting these videos. And so that's probably where I can take this vlog, is if there are things that you wanna know about, then I can keep doing that. And then I can find things that people are searching for and I will promote it. I'll probably promote this video because today I was getting messages about how people wanted to know about this. So it shows me that, you know what, people do have an interest in this, now I've gotta distribute it. So that's kinda of how it works. Find a good topic, spend time to go over different sites, share what you've done, try not to be pushy, but let them know that you have something of value that you wanna bring people. And I believe that'll help grow your channel, grow more subscribers, but nothing comes easy. It's gonna take work. It worked, it worked for me in that one video. I haven't done it for the channel yet, but I think this is a formula because if we can get easily bogged down into our same group and just make videos for each other and have like a small little group and, and you talk to creators and hey, how'd you do? And let me look at your video, but we won't grow that way. You've gotta go outside. You have to bring people from the outside in to see your channel. So you've gotta to go to gaming or you gotta to go to photography. You've gotta find people from the outside to bring them in. That's what'll promote the channel. That's what'll help grow a lot faster. I hope that helps. If it does, and if this is the kind of video that you'd like to see, then go ahead and like it, subscribe it, let me know in the comments, and I'll try to make more videos like this, okay? There's actually one more I forgot to tell you about. Today, I found a new YouTuber. His name is Taylor Moore. He came up with an idea to uh, give his review on the new Galaxy Note 9. And as of right now, he has 44,000 views on that video. And he's probably gained about 1,000 subscribers. He did exactly what I'm trying to tell you. Find a good topic. And his video is so high quality on how he did it. I don't know if he's put a lot of distribution into it, but it definitely worked on finding what people are searching for, and he got right on top of it. That's how you grow your channel. At least that's how I think. I'm still learning too. Um, I promise you those two clips, I'll put them right here. The links are in description. Don't forget, be kind, stay positive. I'll see you guys tomorrow. Pop right away. So I made a list of like every possible website that like reposts articles or blog posts or news posts or media or photography, video, like anything that could possibly be related to like posting content online. And I spent the entire day and I sent that video to probably like 200 different websites. And then lo and behold, one, one site posted it and then two sites posted it and then seven sites posted it and then it was everywhere. And then my friends were texting me like, dude, this video is, it's on Uncrate, it's on Dig, it's on, it's, it was on some like TV show in Toronto. Like it was everywhere. And there's so many of you that hear patience and then you just think, okay, let me just continue to make shows and content. And you're gonna wake up four years later going from 85 subscribers to 219. And I don't wanna be on the hook for wasting your time. Distribution is the game. And so what you do when you have 85 uh, you know, people following your channel or 200 or even 2,000 or even 20,000 or even 200,000 um, is you need to understand that you need to keep hustling for your awareness. Of course, and just so everybody knows this, of course your show has to be good. It's far more interesting for you to take control of your distribution through collaborations, through proper hashtag distribution on the Instagram world, from reaching out, biz deving, reaching out, being part of forums and other internet communities like Facebook groups to become part of that community so when you put out stuff, people wanna support you. I would tell you with Wine Library TV, I spent 20 minutes making the video and I spent five hours creating the distribution a day. And a lot of people are doing searches for certain things. Well, sorry about this. The magic of Hutto is you're gonna have a train every now and then. I'm gonna keep talking. Hopefully my voice will come through. If not, I'll have to record all this again. Come on, train. Anyway, 